I know you clicked on this video because you saw ChatGPT. Yes, ChatGPT is viral. That AI chatbot technology that has done over 1 million users in a week. Mind blown, right? But if you're one of those that trust 200% all the answers or results that you get from ChatGPT, you might want to try this quickly. Go to ChatGPT and ask who is the richest man in the world. You're going to see limitations that ChatGPT has that you should be mindful of when trusting all the results that you're getting from ChatGPT. And that is why we are doing this comparison between ChatGPT and yet another AI chatbot technology that also uses natural language processing technology to answer questions much more effectively and much more accurately. It's called ChatSonic. And you're going to be comparing between ChatGPT and ChatSonic which is going to serve much better purpose in performing tasks and carrying out all those functions in your business. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching the video on my channel, you're welcome. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you join our community of people who use their smartphones productively and profitably. And whether you're returning or you're new, you know the culture. To support this video, do hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can share this video with more people. We're going to be doing this comparison based on the following categories. We're going to look at the UI, UX design. We're going to look at the accuracy of response. We are going to look at which of them is best for code generation, all right? Then we're going to look at which of them can also be used for image generation. I bet you already know the answer to some of the things I am mentioning. The next thing, we're going to look at the cost of using either of them and then we're also going to look at api present all right in each of them we're going to look at other features like voice search and the rest of them okay so just in case you do not know shout gpt was developed by openai's gpt 3.5 language model to understand and interpret test with corresponding responses whereas chat sonic is just like chat gpt but this time developed by another company called right sonic on the same gpt 3.5 technology and its natural language processing technology understands user intent making it able to come up with more accurate and relevant responses Alright, so I have my ChatGPT on my smartphone and ChatSonic on my computer. Alright, so when you access both of them, alright, you know that you have to log in or sign up to use ChatGPT and also log in or sign up to use ChatSonic. But before you enter ChatSonic, you're going to come to the home page of RightSonic API version 2, right? Where you're going to see a whole lot of tools for different purposes, but our focus is on ChatSonic, okay? So I'm going to enter ChatSonic right now. So comparing both of the UIs, I think there's no much differences, right? It's just about once it's open, you already have the place where you can key in your question, all right? And over here at ChatGPT, you also have a place where you can key in your questions as well. So based on um, UI, I think ChatGPT has a much more uh, minimalistic UI as compared with ChatSonic, all right? So the next thing we are going to look at right now is accuracy, okay? If you look at both of these tools, over at Chat Sonic, you're going to see capabilities with factual content on the latest topics. I'm going to explain this more and several other capabilities. Then coming over to Chat um, GPT, all right, you're going to see the capabilities. Remember what users said earlier in the conversation, okay? But Chat Sonic also remembers what you can actually, it's an AI conversational chatbot, right? So it always remembers what the user has said, you know, and continues the conversation that way, okay? So both of them has these features in common, all right? But another thing in accuracy is when you come to ChatGPT's limitation, you're going to see may occasionally generate incorrect information, all right? And also limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. Now we're going to put this into practical, all right? So we're going to come over to ChatSonic, all right? And type current richest man in the world, okay? All right, and then let's come over to ChatGPT and ask the same question, current richest man in the world okay so 
see an error occurs. So that's what we are talking about, right? That you need to have uh, an option. You need to have a second option in case things like this happen. Okay. So current richest man in the world. All right. So chat GPT says, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet and do not have access to the current information based on my training. The current richest person in 2021 is Jeff Bezos. And this is also because ChatGPT is not loaded with information from 2021, 2022, down to 2023. I know the year is still fresh though. All right. But Chat Sonic is always going to give you a factual and accurate result. Because of this one reason, Chat Sonic has access to the internet. It can generate information from Google. As you can see over here, include latest Google data. And that is why it is able to tell us the correct answer that Bernard Arnold is the richest person in the world. So in this terms of comparison for accuracy with queries or results, Chat Sonic has it, okay? Okay, the next um, comparison here is ability to generate codes. And we already know that in terms of AI chatbot technology that is an expert in code generation, then ChatGPT has it. And we are going to put that to test right now. So we are going to ask ChatGPT to generate a code. Generate a code. Generate a code for a calculator. Okay, and then let's come over to Chat Sonic and also try to generate a code. So we're gonna come here and say generate a code for a calculator. Okay, so Chat GPT is already writing our code, guys. Chat GPT is already writing our code, and it's so amazing that once the code is done, when it's done writing the code okay you can simply tap up here and see copy code all right you can see copy code and when i run this code you can see a perfect generator with python right but over here at chat sonic it is sending me or it's showing me images of calculator so this is where chat gpt won in this competition so the next one here is api now with Chat Sonic, you can actually put this into your own platform and run Chat Sonic directly from your platform. Remember that API means application programming interface, which means that it will connect to be able to predict accurate weather result or accurate weather forecast. All right. So Chat Sonic also exists as an API that enables it to also you know, connect with Google, also connect with other platforms, even within the platforms of or the functions or applications of Right Sonic to be able to perform tasks effectively and more efficiently than chat GPT that is yet to have an API. Know that OpenAI has another AI bot that can be used to generate customized images and avatars. That is DAO E, all right? And there's also Midjourney out there, okay? But Chat Sonic on its own can also generate images. So I can actually ask for image of a flower on top of a um on top of a futuristic car and chat sonic can generate such an image but we already know that chat gpt is still limited in image generation on its own so you would want to use dal e or any other chatbot that can generate images so this is the image that chat gpt gave me all right so it gave me images of a flower on top of a futuristic car. These are not really what I wanted to see, but I wanted to see a flower on top. Okay. There are six of images I've asked Chat Sonic to generate that it did well on. All right. But I, I personally wouldn't want to use Chat Sonic to generate images where there are AI bots or AI technologies like Mid Journey or even Dal E or Lexica or the rest of them. Let's try this um less practical example okay so we have on chat sonic right a youtube script on the topic chat sonic versus chat gpt and i also have that on on chat gpt sorry run the query on chat gpt all right and then i'm going to also run the query on chat sonic okay 
So ChatGPT is already creating this script, but ChatSonic is kind of dragging, okay? But it's um it's still it's already working on it right now, okay? So now at the end of this, I'm going to show you some features that are on ChatSonic that are not on ChatGPT. I know that ChatGPT is still under construction. I know there are still improvement that they are already talking about bringing out you know in times to come okay but for now when you compare the results that chat gpt and chat sonic gives okay these are extra things that you could do with chat sonic that you cannot do for now on chat gpt so chat gpt is still writing the script okay you can see how long this script is okay why chat sonic is done i think it's done okay so it says introduction the two chatbots blah 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 discuss the features of this and summarize the main point of the um com comparison and explain which chatbot is better for businesses okay so this is what it gave me i can actually say elaborate on this okay elaborate elaborate the answer elaborate more okay so i can say elaborate more but why is doing that when you come over here at chat sonic all right you're going to see this button so when i select this button all right it takes me to what is called sonic editor all right so on sonic editor i can simply highlight a point and type right with ai and the ai is going to generate more information on the topic that i queried okay so you can see it's already elaborating on everything that was mentioned by chat sonic okay so but on chat gpt there is nothing like that okay even though that you can ask it to elaborate all right and it will see elaborate so let's even try to say elaborate more so another feature i like on chat sonic is this next feature all right so you can copy the result and simply drop it wherever you want to drop it maybe in a document that you want to develop the result all right you can drop you know tap on this button copy to clipboard and paste wherever you want to drop it but on chat gpt you would need to you know copy select you know crop you know the normal way of copying email or text from the internet and drop it wherever you want to drop it but it is a button on chat sonic okay the next one is the download okay when i select this okay i can actually download this as a document into my computer or my smartphone all right the next one is where i can edit this result i can actually select and try to correct some of the things that it has written directly in the answer of chat sonic this is not yet possible on chat gpt and finally the one that i love the most is the test to speech feature so instead of me to read all of the answers it can become a an audio conversation right so that i can tap on this button and it will start video script on the topic of chat sonic so it will what it will convert this script to speech Finally, on this comparison, okay, is the voice search, all right? I can use my voice to search for a query on ChatSonic, but it is not yet possible on ChatGPT, which makes it almost impossible for some disabled people to use ChatGPT. In conclusion, the aim of this video is not actually in any way to discredit any of these AI chat or technologies, but to give you options in case if one is not functioning well due to network or heavy traffic usage you can easily switch to the other and secondly this is also to give you options to determine which one is going to be most beneficial based on what you're using it for as you already saw sharp tonic is not great for code generator ChatGPT cannot easily generate images or does not even generate images at all and then the result it gives is not current as it's limited to events behind 2021 so it's now left for you to define which of them is going to be best in carrying out those tasks that you need it to carry out in your business but which of these two do you still feel is better than the other let me know on the comment section thank you for watching to this point in this video just for the sake of the audience retention test i would like you to drop on the comment down below this is the future just for me to know that you watched this video to the end and i'm going to be acknowledging each and every comment down below with this thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next was that video helpful you might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one i released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you always be the first to know when i release a fresh video that is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to <laughs> my name is frederick thank you for watching and see you on the next one